Donald Trump yesterday in a, uh, uh, well, actually it was Saturday, in a, in a campaign rally in Erie, Pennsylvania, uh, A, called uh, Joe Biden a dumb son of a B word, uh, which is at the very least undignified, don't you think? Um, also, all, earlier this week, Kevin McCarthy said that he would, uh, he would reconsider impeachment inquiries into Joe Biden. I don't know what they think they're going to impeach him for. I realize they, they, they think that they've got a Chinese spy who's on the lam who says that he knows that Joe Biden uh, took a $10 million bribe from some Ukrainian guy, uh, but all everybody else involved in this says that's just a lie made up by this guy to try to get out of his, but you know, in, in any case, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates actually called for Joe Biden's impeachment the first day he was, the day after he was sworn into office. So, I mean, this is, this is not about any specific charges. This is about Republicans saying, hey, you did it to Trump, we're going to do it to you. But Trump is an actual criminal. Trump actually told over 30,000 lies while he was president. Trump actually oversaw the unnecessary death of a half million Americans, according to The Lancet, the British Medical Journal that analyzed the numbers. Trump, you know, uh, tried to destroy NATO on behalf of Vladimir Putin. Trump tried to blackmail Ukraine on behalf of Vladimir Putin. Trump uh, apparently sold top secret documents to Saudi Arabia for $2 billion. Trump apparently gave, uh, you know, among the, the data that Trump had at Mar-a-Lago was lists of our spies, the payroll records. And, you know, in the third year of his administration, right after he asked the director of national intelligence for that list of the payroll records of the spies, suddenly the CIA reported to Congress that their spies all around the world were being murdered. I'd like to know more about that. But those were all legitimate reasons to impeach Trump. I don't, I don't see a legitimate reason to impeach Biden, but Trump... Uh, Trump yesterday or a day before yesterday on Saturday said that uh, he will endorse primary opponents for any House Republicans who don't vote to impeach Biden. And of course, what he's trying to do is, I mean, you know, he's looking at history. History here says Donald Trump has been, you know, he's the only president who's ever been impeached twice. He's only, I believe, the third president to have been impeached. No president has been convicted. And, and, you know, he doesn't want to go down in history that way. He wants Joe Biden to be impeached, too, so that he can say, well, I wasn't that bad. The guy who followed me, the same thing. It's pathetic, isn't it?